There seems to be an awful lot of sad stories in the news today, and there are thousands missing. Does anybody care? We build a channel where we talk about those faces. Talking news. Daddy. Hello everyone, welcome to Chasing a Murder Talking News. Today we're going to do a talking news episode. Guys, and this is something I want to get out ASAP. This is a woman I'm hoping will get the attention she needs. This story is coming out of Sacramento, California. Her name is Leslie Ben Ayusu. I hope I said that right. I've not seen this before. Let me spell it for you. So it's B-E-N-I-E-S-A-U. She is 41 years old. Here's the thing. She was getting ready to meet someone through a dating app. That dating app being OK Cupid. The family say that she was supposed to meet somebody on the morning of April 15th of 2022. But they never heard anything from her again after that day. The family reached out for help and also reached out to a cell phone company to get information and see why they're not able to get any kind of connection to her cell phone. It just seems like it's off. And they find out that on April 15th of 2022 at 8:45 a.m. there had been no activity on Leslie's phone. She was last seen on April 15th around the Capitol. Now the family's also looking into this dating app. Uh, they're asking people that are familiar with this dating app if they've ever heard of anyone by the name of Bay, spelled B-A-E. Leslie's sister has been talking with media and begging and pleading with the public, anybody that will listen, that they need help. Can someone say anything that might point them in a direction that will lead to her missing sister? She's been missing for two weeks. In fact, the last text to her sister was someone was on the way to pick her up and that she would reach out to her later, basically, and keep her informed. But that never happened. Here's that interview. It's on News That Matters. They're worried sick because they haven't heard from her for nearly two weeks. She told me that there was somebody on the way to come pick her up and that she would keep me in, uh, informed and she would keep me in touch and let me know. And then that's the last I, I heard from her. Leslie's other sister is, this is the one that was pleading to the public, asking them with in, that anybody familiar with this app, please come forward. So here's that clip. If anybody uses the site, okay, Cupid. I would like them to reach out if they have any information on a person that goes by the name of B. That would really help me and my family. Or if they have seen her, call the Sacramento Police Department. The family has tried multiple times to reach out to their missing sister, Leslie, by means of phone, but they just not had any luck. And the family says she does have some mental illness, and she never contacts, you know, there's times she doesn't contact right away, but she always contacts them. Well, I text her back and I could see that the message wasn't going through, which is uh, not like my sister. I would have, she would at least turn her phone on, even if she didn't always reply right away. She would. Okay, so I need to make this correction. So they're saying that how you pronounce this name that they're looking for on this app is B, not Bay. One of their main concerns is that anybody that uses this site 
if you can reach out to them if you have any information about this name BEA. That would be very beneficial to their family, she says. And you can also call the Sacramento Police Department. Now, though the police know about this and how concerned the family is, they're saying that there's no indication of foul play. There seems to be some missing pieces to this story, and I haven't had time to really go in, in depth with this, but they say that her mother became worried after text messages sent last week were unanswered. It doesn't make sense that the f phone is off, and even worse, it was just her birthday last week, and she was not responding or reaching out to family and the family says they always celebrate birthdays together her sister carolyn said quote when her birthday came i sent her another message and by midday without her opening turning her phone on or texted us or anything i knew that there was something wrong end quote the family describes leslie as loving and a trusting person who is full of life and they want her to know that they are searching for her. They sent out a message, quote, Leslie, if you're watching this, if you see this, know that we are looking for you. We love you. We want you to come home, and hopefully you're safe, and we'll see you soon, end quote. Leslie's sisters are now cautioning others to be more careful about meeting people on dating apps, which is something we have been through time and time again on many of the videos that I cover, especially the earlier ones. In fact, there are several girls that we covered where they used dating apps and it didn't turn out well. It's so very scary and it's just not worth it, ladies. So if anything, take a defense class, carry mace, and don't trust these people. Always have a backup or some kind of code or something and let people know where you're at. I'm hoping that they're able to um, find some kind of security footage or something of what car she was in, maybe who she was with, but right now we have nothing to go on. Please, if you can, share this on your social media, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, get her face out there guys especially if you're in the California area so it seemed you know she had arranged to meet her date near the Capitol building which is in the public but here's the problem is it seems like she was actually gonna get into his car she was being picked up especially women never ever go in someone else's vehicle where they have full control Please, ladies, teach your women and your family to be safe. Be cautious. Send in this family our support and love. I hope we can get Leslie home safe. Good night, guys. See you soon.